Hi, welcome to Tinker Tots and Maker Mom. Today we're going to do something really fun. We're going to make music by creating our own shaker bottles. For this activity, you need to have a few things that you can find around the house. First, you need an empty water bottle. You need some paper, markers, tape, scissors to decorate your bottle. You may want to use your hands or a funnel to put the contents into the bottle. And you're going to need a variety of noise makers. I usually use things like rice, cereal, beans, seeds, pasta, lentils, you name it, pebbles, whatever you have. This is a great activity for you and your child to talk about sound and music. First thing you're going to do is get ready to pour things into your bottle. I usually use a table cover and sometimes I put out a bowl or a plate to catch the extras. First thing you'll do is put some rice, pasta, whatever into your bottle. As I put it in the bottle, I listen to the sound. If you notice, I'm hearing a high, rustly sound. How do you think this sound will change if I add some more rice? Let's see. This is a good activity to do with more than one child or to make several shakers at the same time. Let's listen carefully. What do you notice about the sound? How has it changed? What we're going to do is to fill the bottle to make the noise that you like the best. Now maybe let's take some time and experiment with all the different sounds you can get from different materials. What do you notice about this sound? Do you like the rustling? I do. But maybe there's a better sound out there. Do you like this one? I'm not so sure. Let's try one more just and then we'll finish making our shaker. I wonder what this is going to sound like in the bottle. I think this is the highest sound I've heard so far. I kind of like it. So I think I'm going to go with this noise and I'm going to decide just how much to put in. Once you have the sound you like, put your screw top on top of your bottle and give it a final shake. Yeah, I really like this sound. So clean up your work area and move your other noises away. Once I have my paper cut to the size of my bottle, it's time to decorate. I can use crayons, markers, colored tape, you name it, to make it pretty. I'm going to put some flowers on mine today because I'm in a flowery mood. Next I'm going to do is tape it to my bottle. Now I can do this by taking a piece of tape and putting it on the paper 
and then taping it to my bottle and wrapping the paper around and then taping the other side. If I want to add another decorative element, I can use some fancy washi tape. And again, all I'm going to do is cut pieces of it and use it to hold my container down. Now the fun part begins. I can take my shaker and I can play it a couple ways. I can shake it this way, I can shake it this way, but I can shake it all around. So normally when I'm with my nieces and nephews with the shakers, we put on their favorite song and we practice all the different ways you can shake. I can shake right, I can shake left, I can shake high, I can shake low, I can do a trick shake, shake it all around, and I practice shaking to the rhythm of the music. Shake, 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 shake. Shake it up, shake it low, shake it high, shake it around. Your child will have a lot of fun jamming to his favorite songs. If you wanna have a more interesting element, make several different bottles and practice making your own music. You can make your music by putting your bottles in a row from the lowest sound to the highest sound, and then practice shaking different ones in order. If you want to share your song with your friends, give each bottle a number and then write down the number that you played. So if this was number one and I shake this first, I'd write number one. If I then went and shook bottle four, I'd write a number four. So your friend can play your song. One, four. There you go. Thank you for coming to Tinker Tots and Maker Moms today. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>